still ahead on Good Day Chicago, how to help young girls develop a positive body image, an important topic to talk about today. Still ahead on Good Day Chicago, how soon should you start talking with your daughters about body image? We're going to get some expert advice on this important topic. Women know there can be a lot of pressure to have a certain kind of body, and that pressure starts young. According to the CDC, 80% of young girls suffer from body image issues, which can lead to a lack of self-esteem, depression, eating disorders. So we are talking about wellness strategies to overcome and manage these issues this morning. Joining us right now, we have Dr. Karen Farrell, a clinical psychologist, and her daughter, Kathleen Farrell, a psychotherapist and a fitness expert. Thank you for being here this morning. Thanks for having us. We're so happy to be here. You started thinking about talking about girls body image when your daughter was young. Tell me about that. Well, um, she really wanted to be pretty and look good. And so we had uh, some real discussion about what that meant to girls. And her father really uh, stepped in too as well because he was very interested in fitness. So I think that Kathleen early uh, began to understand that body image and fitness went together. And how did that evolve for you? Um, well, working out and being fit was a big part of even junior high into high school. So let's say I felt anxious, I might um, stretch or do some push-ups to use some of that energy to get it out so I could think a little bit more clearly. And then once I felt like my body was a little regulated, I could have, um, I think they taught me a lot about thought replacement and saying positive. What is that? So positive statements. So if I'm having a thought, as we hear so commonly, I'm fat, right? Mm -hmm. So if you get two 12-year-olds together, they like to connect. So if I say I'm fat, you might might say no I love your legs but I hate my arms so the conversation right. goes in this very negative way so thought replacement would be making a positive statement instead of a negative statement so you, you talk about, about what you like you talk about 12 year old girls yeah. doing that I hear women still do that 100%. all the time if we don't learn we're gonna keep it for 40 years <laughs> when do we start talking about this with our girls now yeah as the I mean even when they're little right for sure uh, absolutely you hear six-year-olds say I'm fat yes and worry about it. I think you tell a story. I was in first grade and I told her I had thunder thighs. No way. So I heard this mm -hmm. somewhere, looked mm -hmm. at my body, and then used it on myself, which is, it, no one told me to say that. <laughs> but, you know, I think one of the things I think is really important is that body image, self esteem, and bullying mediate each mm -hmm. other. So the better a girl feels about what she looks like, the happier she is. That's what that means. And so we really have to be aware early that and our I treat girls... other people the same way. Right. If I don't treat myself well, why would I right. treat, know how to treat you well? And it bounces back and forth. So what are the, some of the messages we should be giving our girls or maybe should not be giving our girls? Sure. Thinness is not the goal. Mm -hmm. Healthy fitness is the goal. Yes. You talk about y using your fitness as a way to get through it, but again, it was yeah. because about having your body be strong, yes. not look a certain way, and I right? I think it's your experience of yourself. It's not about, like today we take a selfie and we see a picture of ourselves, but we're judging it after we've taken it. So it's about the experience I'm having in my body. So I want to feel good and happy, and I have to have nice thoughts, but moving helps us to get our brain and our body feeling really well, too. You talk about taking a selfie, and of course, all those pictures on social media. That uh -huh. plays a big part right yeah. now with young girls especially, For even sure. women as well. So how do we deal with that, that pressure? We really need to teach girls that that is not the, uh, the goal, and those are very um, ideal body images. And to not use things like filters, I mean, little puppy ears are fun, I like, you know, on mm -hmm. Snapchat and things, but if we use filters to alter how we are, we're saying we're not good enough and worthy as we are. So to celebrate ourselves um, as we are and to have positive back and forth on those medias, if they're going to use them anyway, and then give them healthier outlets to engage with on those medias. And I think we all need to just be thinking about the words mm -hmm. we're using when we talk to our girls yeah. about their bodies. It, for more information, they have a foundation called Strong Girls. So you can go to stronggirls, with a Z on the end, dot org to find out more about what Kathleen Farrell and Dr. Karen Farrell do. Thank you for being here this morning Thank and you. telling us about this. It's an important conversation that we need to continue to have. And Thank we do you. have a wellness jam coming up that's an experience, and you'll see that on the website. So it'll be for moms and daughters to come to 
to experience uh, good fitness and fun and hang out with each other in a positive way. I like that. All right. Maybe I'll bring my daughter. Yeah, thank <laughs> Thanks you. Thanks so much.